Now, doctors are talking of a medical milestone after a healthy baby was born for the first time using a womb transplanted from a dead body. Uh, the girl was born uh, in Brazil a year ago, but the news has just been published in the science journal The Lancet. It could pave the way for many more opportunities for infertile women. Uh, well, Alistair Sanford joins me now in the studio to talk about this a little bit more. Uh, just explain to us how this particular case came about? Yes, let's go through the process. The, the woman, um, she was 32 years old. Uh, she'd been born without a womb. She had a rare medical condition known as MRKH syndrome. Um, the uterus was donated by uh, a 45-year-old mother of three who died of, of a stroke. The transplant operation took place in Sao Paulo in September 2016. Uh, the patient, the operation went well, lasted 10 hours. Uh, several months later, the patient was doing well. She'd been given drugs to uh, stop her rejecting the new organ. Um, after uh, her scans were normal, she began having periods. After seven months, eggs that had been frozen uh, were implanted and she became pregnant 10 days later. And in December last year, almost exactly a year ago, um, a baby was born via cesarean. Now, seven months later, the baby was doing well, the mum was doing well as well. And so all this, the case study was submitted to The Lancet, which has just published the information now. Now, womb transplants are relatively new, but they've always usually been from live donors. Uh, what's happened now, according to the transplant team leader, Dr. Uh, Danny Eisenberg, and I think we can hear from him, he says this is a milestone for reproductive medicine because using dead donors opens up new opportunities. Till now, only if the woman has a close uh, friend or a relative that can donate the uterus, she can receive an uterus transplantation. Then, uh, when you have the feasibility of this new technique, you can have almost an universal access to this kind of approach. So what new avenues does this open up for transplant surgery? Well, lots of new possibilities, though it is still early days, just to expand on what the doctor was saying. Um, womb transplants were pioneered in Sweden. Uh, the first baby was born after a womb transplant, that's five years ago. Uh, there have been some, nearly 40 cases of that, leading to uh, 11 births, but it's always been from live, uh, from live donors. Now, as he says, the number of live donors is extremely limited. There's a big risk and it's got to be a close family member. The number of people willing to donate organs after they die is much larger. There have been cases of uh, wounds being transplanted from dead donors, but they've never led to um, a live birth until now. And so what we've got now is that several months later, we've got a healthy baby and a healthy mum. They're both doing well. This does open up potentially access to a lot more uh, donors. However, doctors say they're still refining and perfecting the technique. The outcomes and the effects comparing uh, live don wombs donated from live donors as opposed to dead ones is yet to be fully evaluated. In Sao Paulo, they've got a few case studies ongoing. They expect a few more live births and they expect, if it goes well, to expand this program to many more patients.